Keep it realistic. Keep it realistic. Keep it realistic. <laughs> Keep it realistic. Here we are on another mild fall afternoon over here at the log. We're gonna go with my desperation rig once again. We have the Gulp Alive minnows and a float rig. Let's get down here and see if we can catch any fish. As you can see, the water is still very low. Got a little driftwood table here. All right, let's see if we can find any fish down here. There's a nibble. There's a good chance today is going to be like every other day and we're going to find four and five inch bluegill. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping we can find a crappie or something else. Snag. What am I snagged on? I'm moving it, whatever it is. Holy, I've got something big. Oh man, it goes underneath that log. It's a piece of brush, a big piece of brush. See it starting to come out of the water there? It's like a Christmas tree or something someone threw in right here. I'm not gonna be able to move it. It's stuck behind that log. I don't think I can get this to turn over, but maybe, oh. I'm trying to fish my bobber out of here before I sink in the mud. Man, this is like quicksand over here. Got it. Oh man. Let's get back up here to dry land. Wow, that sucked. But at least I got my bobber back. Do I even want to keep trying? This is Aaron from Pennsylvania, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. All right, we got the new rig tied on. We're gonna get back down there. I've already been through a lot and I haven't even caught one fish yet. Note to self, alongside this second closer log right here, some kind of Christmas tree or something underwater. Yeah, we're gonna have to avoid that if I can. The fishing has just gotten so terrible. Between the dumb weather and the low water, there just isn't anything going on. The window for crappie over here was so short. I only caught them for maybe two days and that was it. Now they're all gone. Got him, first fish of the day right here. It's a pretty average bluegill. Let's get a quick look. Don't jump out of my hands. Six inch bluegill, feels cold to the touch. Broke the ice. No skunk, let's get another one. We're going way out there. Got him. 
fish number two doesn't feel like a giant. Another small, small bluegill here, five incher. Hey, it's a fish though. We're out here in November catching bluegill in the mouth of this creek. Let's get it back out there. Holy cow, wow. That was a good bite. I'm up in this tree, holy shit, what's going on? There we go. Those are some big bites. Come on. Fish. That's a little bit better. That's a little bit better. I feel some pull. I feel some pull. There we go, slightly larger bluegill, six incher, maybe a little bit better. Yeah, six inch bluegill out there in the middle of the creek channel, fishing the mouth of this creek right here. This is Mo from Virginia, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Got him. Another one. Not a monster, but another decent one. Another six inch gill. Fast and furious way out there in the center. Got him. All right, another fish on. Another decent bluegill. I just want to look. All right, decent seven inch bluegill. We're getting some, we're getting some. If I was starving, I would have had enough for a meal already. Or if I wanted to fish for something big like catfish, I would have had enough bait by now. Started out slow and snaggy, but we're doing all right. Fishing way out there in the middle of the channel. Oh, missed them because I was busy gabbing. I'm Wyatt. I'm Penelope. Keep it realistic. Fish on. Didn't even take the bobber under. Another bluegill. Not the best quality today, but I'm getting quantity, that's for sure.
Got them. Way, way, way out there in the middle. There's another decent bluegill, seven incher. That's a good handful, that'd be a keeper. Let's take a quick look. Second best fish of the day right here, seven and a half inch bluegill. If I was hungry, I'd be eating you. We got enough time for maybe one or two more. Oh, I had a bite. Come on, one more fish and we're out of here. Just one more. Anyone? Anyone else? Oh, dang it. Thought I had a bite, might have been a leaf, I don't know. Still got my minnow, it's really chewed up, but it's still on there. We're gonna try for one more. One more and I'm leaving. Don't keep me here all night, fish. There's a nibble. Dang it, had a bite, missed him. Well, I gotta say, that went a little bit better than expected. I caught a bunch of nice bluegill over here in the mouth of this creek over by the log. I thought they would be by the log, but they were actually way out there in the center of the creek. Maybe it's because the water's so low. I'm not really sure. Anyway, thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.